chatting guys so it's been a while i know but um here goes anyway so this is just a little kit review well not a review just a kit overview of some some kit i'm taking out with me on a night out next week or sorry this week um so it's basically it's a lumber pack so it sort of sits down on your hips um i've adapted it a little bit so it has got shoulder straps because it's got not a lot of weight but it's got a bit of weight in it and it's um it wants to kind of fall away from you if you don't have the shoulder straps so yeah that's a modification that i'll show you but um for now i'm just gonna show you the kit i'm taking out with me on a night out in december i think it'll be december by then no it won't it'll still be november but it's will be very close anyway um so yeah so on the outside here is a i think it's just a ammo pouch and uh as you can see what it's got written on top there is water filter so in here i've got just a pair of um just sort of your, your standard work gloves they're sort of a really well fitting glove good for working good for breaking branches cutting um because they're quite tight to the fingers you know you get good dexterity when you're wearing them so yeah i really like those and then as the front of the pouch says in here is just my msr trail shot i think it's called with a bag for the um the tube because obviously that's the bit that goes into the dirty water so i don't want that touching the clean water bit and this is just a stuff sack from an old pillow these are um, they're actually bicycle inner tube repair patches but um i found that they're brilliant and i mean brilliant for repairing um holes in inflatable mats so yeah I keep those as well because i've actually used one of these on my x-bed because it had a tiny pinhole in it and um it's done the job brilliantly so yeah they're good if you carry an inflatable mat um so yeah this is just a water bottle holder that straps to the outside of this pack and obviously self-explanatory it's just got more water in it it's just a smart water bottle nice and light um i've only come only carrying one bottle um so not far from home and the place I'm going to has got multiple water sources and obviously I've got the, the trail shop so that's why I'm not carrying a lot of water cup self-explanatory for cups of tea and what have you so on the top of the pack I have my shelter system it's in a dd tarp bag but it's not actually a dd tarp in there what's in there is it's a uh, 58 pattern poncho and inside the poncho is Um, this which is basically a little shelter system that I've come up with for winter camping so this at the bottom here is just uh, what I call builders plastic it's just sort of cover all um, it's what you'd use if you were trying to you know cover some floors or something it's lightweight it's quite durable waterproof obviously so yeah that's just going to be my ground sheet and then in here I've got um, two foil blankets, standard size ones, and in the middle, the camouflage bit, is a, a reflective emergency sleeping bag. It's basically a a, um, a mylar blanket, but sandwiched together in a, a bivy bag sort of configuration with a camo on the outside. And I think I picked that up from eBay for about, no sorry, Amazon for about eight quid. 
And I know it's a lot of money for what it is, but it's the only one I could find that's camo. So I kind of wanna, kind of wanted to buy it. You could get these emergency sleeping bags for, I think they're about four pound for two, but I was just being a bit of a tart and I wanted a camo one. So yeah, so that's that. Um, just got some of these little metal clips. They're fairly strong. And my idea is, because I'm winter camping and I'm kind of lightweight, um, I'm going to set the, the poncho up in sort of a like a, a lean-to configuration, and then the two emergency blankets. I'm going to use these to pin them at the top and then push them down the back to reflect the heat from my fire back onto me. Sort of a super shelter type idea. Um, so yeah, cordage, self-explanatory for putting the shelter up, and just my my little um, halter fours knife. I do love this knife because it is so lightweight and it's never, not once let me down. I mean, I've got other knives, I've got the, the knife that I got from, uh, from Ed, which is a um, Keith Files ZP special. But this one is so, as I'm going sort of lightweight, this one really weighs nothing. Nice little sort of orangey neck lanyard so I don't lose it if I put it down. But, um, but yeah, nice little knife that. Next on the pack, oh, we'll go for the bottom next. So on the bottom here, I won't take it off, but it's basically just a um, reflective foam-backed mat. I think it's Highlander. Again, cheap as you like. I think it was about six quid or something. But that teamed with the inflatable mat that I've got in here. So it's going to be sort of ground sheet, inflatable mat with this on top. Because the inflatable mat I've got isn't insulated, even though I've got a, an insulated one, it, it's quite big and it needed to fit in this, this system. So, uh, so yeah, we're not taking that. We're going to trial this. Um, so it's got two side pouches, which normally for bottles of water, I would imagine. But because um, I'm carrying my water in this, and I'm not carrying a lot of water, I've got a cook system in this one and some waterproof gear in this one. Um, I know I've got the poncho for waterproof gear, but my thinking is if I get to where I'm going and it is raining, I don't want to put the poncho up in the wet. I want to be able to wear a waterproof jacket, which I've got in here, if I can pull it out. It's just a packable waterproof jacket. Um, charity shop find this was. Um, I think I paid £2.50 for it, and it's absolutely brilliant, you know, it's tiny, packs down to nothing, and it's, it is actually really waterproof, I've tried it, I've got, got the hose out and uh, got the kids to spray me when I first got it, so. <laughs> That's that. Also in this side pouch, I've got just some extra of that builder's plastic, it's about a metre wide by the length of the poncho. So if I was really stuck in a really cold situation, um, I could make a, the super shelter idea. So you have the plastic down the front, fire in front, and the, uh, the heat from the fire permeates through this, reflects back off of the space blanket inside your shelter, and the sort of area in the middle obviously warms up considerably. Um, in here, this is just my little pot that I make char cloth in. And the lid's really hard to get off because look at the char cloth I've made in it. But then there's just some char cloth and a flint striker and a ferrocerium rod. Sorry, not a flint striker, that's in the other one. Spork, standard spork. Everything's held in with these elasticated bungees. Um, so in this one I've got, I don't know why that's in there, but um, yeah, so just some stormproof matches. Just for, uh, just in case the other fire lighting methods I've got do fail me, but I've got quite a lot of methods of lighting fire. So yeah, stormproof matches. And I've got this, which 
again, although I've got much more expensive kit that I could be taking, I've got um, I've got this kit here, which is my normal cook, normal cook kit, which has got my um, up kit, titanium pot and alcohol stove and what blah, blah 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 blah. But this um, this little one I've made for this this out this trip is, as you can see, much smaller. And uh, it actually weighs almost nothing. It's so light, it's unbelievable. I think the, the pot and stove together weigh 60 grams, which is ridiculous. If you're American, that's like two ounces. So in here, just have a, a little scour pad for cleaning up. Some fuel for the stove, which is in a bag so it doesn't leak. Then the just the simple little cat food can stove and pot, and then the lid of the pot is the lid of the can. And uh, I've tested it out and it works brilliantly. And as I say, it weighs well, as you sure most people can imagine, the weight of a can is next to nothing. So that's my little cook system. The only thing I do want to make for it, I need to butcher a coke can or something just to make a little windshield but uh that's obviously not gonna take it away a great deal more this together. right now to inside the pack so there's a little pouch on the front here which has just got a back lander in obviously I'm going to be collecting wood for fires a um, little bit of first aid just literally carrying like one bandage some um, like a little half a toothbrush that I cut up some toothpaste and then in here there's just some spare batteries for my head torch and then there's just like plasters alcohol wipes sort of just standard little things and then I've also in here just got a roll of um, plaster tape, you know, just because this stuff's like highly, it's really good, it really sticks to itself. So, if I did get a, a large cut, I could just stick that on it, wrap it tight with this to stop it bleeding, and then you know, make my way out of the woods. As I say, I'm only about five or six miles from home, so yeah, that should that should suffice, really. Um, head torch. Standard, pretty cheap one, but does the job. It's got fresh batteries in it, and as I say, I've got other, more batteries in there. And the last thing in this front one is just my other fire kit, which is my traditional fire kit, which is sort of my flint and steel and some tinders, and um, this, which is a block of sort of a, a, a beeswax, petroleum wax stuff. It's um, it's really good, good for waterproofing stuff. It's good for rubbing on this sort of jute twiny stuff and it makes it burn sort of twice as long when you try and light a fire so yeah as i say I think the only thing i don't have in here fire lighting wise is a lighter so i probably should pack one just for good measure and then the last section is the main section of the bag i have this this which is my cheap Chinese down sleeping bag. It's um, it's tiny. This is you know compared to a cup. That's the whole bag. It's not rated. It's not a winter bag. It's probably I'd say at the very best a spring and autumn sort of two season bag. But the reason I'm only taking this is because obviously I wanted to go lightweight. Um, I'm going to be wearing my Crag Hoppers compressed light insulated jacket, hooded jacket. And then in here, which is the, the bag for my compressed light jacket, um, is a down um, sort of body warmer. And my plan is to, um, to be in the bag wearing my 
compressed light jacket with the hood up, and then the down jacket, the uh, the down uh, body warmer, zipped up over the foot box of the bag. So therefore, you know, doubling the the layers of insulation around my feet, my upper half will be insulated by the jacket and the bag. So with a bit of luck, I'll be um, toasty warm in there. And if not, obviously I've got the emergency reflective bag which i know a lot of people you know you're going to say oh you know it it will it will sweat it will um it won't breathe it's, you're going to have condensation obviously i'll leave my head out of the other end of this um i've been watching a lot of videos on the use of mylar which is what a space blanket is made of in winter camping and um it's something i really want to really want to kind of um play around with because it looks like the possibilities of it are, are brilliant um i watched one video where some guys had um a little bit more expensive version of this i think it was the sol um emergency bivy but it's basically the same thing just a big orange mylar bag and they slept in them for four nights um and they sort of said you know that they they really rated them and and were, were quite happy so i think if i get on well with this one I'll probably treat myself to the SOL version because it's sort of reusable and um, a bit probably a bit more hard wearing than this. So yeah, just as I say, just experimenting and I mean that for a, a, a bivy and you know winterizing system is next to nothing. Palm your hand, you know. Yeah, and then last but not least is just this inflatable mat, which is a, um, a decathlon. Inflatable mat, I think it weighs about 500 grams. It's a lightweight version, but as I say, not insulated. So, this will have this on top of it, so it'll be comfy and warm. That's the plan. It may not work out, I may find myself walking out the woods in the middle of the night, freezing cold. But again, back to pinning my hopes on this, really. So, so yeah. That's all the kit. Um, I'm going to do a trip video. That's why I wanted to do this um, this sort of gear video to accompany it. So thanks for watching. It's good to be back, and I will catch you when we're out there.